literally designed from an evolutionary standpoint to connect with people. We relied on tribes and right now with a lot of the solopreneur movement, the community is not there in the way it was in the past. And all of a sudden we got away from it and started using digital as our communal gathering spots. Sometimes we don't have to look further than who we already know and what we already have within our, ourselves uh, to get us through a rut. All the dinners themselves have just provided a foundation of this community and this connection to build into this main event. Tonight's theme is 2022. So come as you'll be in five years. Not too far away to seem like it's not possible and it's just far enough to help you think a lot bigger than you already are right now. One, two, three, guys And we'll have a vision board here tonight. But this is kind of like the living vision board. So me, I'm putting on an apron because I'll still be cooking pasta sauce facilitating profound human connection. We just helped 10, our 10,000 family go from living in a motel, homeless, and to getting a home. My book, Find and Do the Work You're Born to Do, just hit the New York Times bestseller. I care about my family, which is why I'm in Nicaragua, because that's where they're from. Applying AI to impoverished communities and charity. The great things about the film that I did was the one that I wrote had a lot of different killings from police of different ethnicities, but yet sometimes we focus on a problem and we don't have solutions in it. So what I want to be able to do is showcase the problems, but also showcase solutions at the same time. So that way the society has to reflect on what can I do better instead of just talking about what the police could possibly do better. I'm in mean, 2022 and we can do those type of things. Working on, on the projects every single day that I feel like are impacting uh, the next generation of people in a positive way. We actually did one of the first uh, self-development motivational conferences from space ever. If everybody that came up there, uh, you know, came back with a, a new earthly view on things, if you will. So I am pregnant and I'm married. Um, so I consult for nonprofits. This is my last client, actually. Helping a small business owner get by and succeed. I want to be someone who is just more present in my everyday life. And of letting go of that, of the pressure, and just finding myself and really just embracing that. It inspires the people around me. I tend to uh, tell myself that I'm not doing something right or I'm not doing enough. I didn't want anybody to know who I was because I was so scared of what everybody else would think. And then Xander spoke. I felt like at ease with who I was. Would you tell a friend some of the things you tell yourself? And usually no. It's like, wow, I'm really hard on myself. This event is a, is a microcosm of what we should be doing on a daily basis. You know, most people say you need to see it to believe it, but it's the opposite. You need to believe it to see it, and being here makes you believe it, and now you can see it and go get it. We're here to connect. We're here to build a tribe. It's like the proverb, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Life itself is a team sport. You can't succeed without friends and family. Kaizen Connection. It's growth through community. That's where it's all at. Someone press play on the music.